Hello dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly crave the indulgence to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Also, please do not forget to share these new stories with your friends, family and relations. Thank you so much guys. Alright, a former governor of an old Anambra state, Chukwe Emeka Ezefe, has said that Nigeria will break up if Inodana becomes the president of Nigeria in 2023. I have heard about the northern interest in this. The north likes Nigeria to survive because if they want to go again, it means they want to break the country completely. Ezefe, who spoke with Sahara reporters, said he expected the two major political parties in the country, All Progressive Congress, APC, and the People's Democratic Party, the PDP, to present candidates from the southern part of the country for the position of president in order to protect the unity of the country. He said, We expect APC and the PDP to present a southeastern person for the president. What people say far away from the event is different from what they will say realistically when the event is near. I have heard about northern interest in this. The North likes Nigeria to survive because if they want to go again, it means they want to break the country completely. If they come out seriously, unfortunately, they will break the country immediately. He, however, expressed hope that the ongoing crisis in the APC would not in any way affect the 2023 presidency. I don't think it will have any consequence on the presidency in 2023, says um, Chukwemeka Ezefe. Political crisis doesn't last forever. This crisis won't have any effect on the 2023 presidency, the former governor said. He insisted that if the North decides to go for presidency in 2023, then Nigeria will break up. According to him, he says, Nigeria will break up if North produces the next president in 2023. Alright guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? So guys, what are your thoughts concerning this? How do you think? Will Nigeria actually uh, break up? Will Nigeria be gone? Well, what are the likelihood of um, the Southeast producing the presidency in, or the president, I beg your pardon, in 2023? I don't want to sound like a broken record, but the truth of the matter is that if we, uh, you know, do not allow ourselves to be carried away, you know, by the euphoria of... Um, the Southeast activities or desires and, uh, you know, how things are. Well, we, I would, we, should, we should be able to tell ourselves the truth. I don't think the Southeast, as it were, would be able to present or will be able to get that slot come 2023. I really doubt it. With the interest that uh, is coming from the North and the Southwest, and also, I do not think that the South, the, 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 the North would be um, ready to relinquish power to anybody. They still want to come back and continue. That's just the truth. Another thing we should look at is that who are the people from the even the Southeast that are capable of taking over or running the affairs of the country? Aside this one man, Peter Obi. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong. And Peter Obi, you know, has been paired as the running mate. Oh, sorry, not really has been. He was the running mate of um, Atiku Abubakar, you know, in the 2019 election. And come 2023, that same combination might just still go again. And there is no way that combination will go that they would not win the election. I stand to be corrected. So, guys, if the Southeast can cheer, support the Atiku, Abu Bakr, and Peter Obi presidential uh, uh, bid, if they win, after Atiku, Abu Bakr, Peter Obi can now front to, be, uh, to become the president. 
that is another idea. But if you are insisting that in 2023 has to be a Southeast presidency, I might see it as, a, as an illusion. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong. But that is what it might likely uh, be if we are not careful. So, all those who are all the political elites in Igbo land and in the southeast, they need to come together, sit together, and permutate on how they are going to go about this issue. They are the ones who are the politicians. They are the ones who know these guys much more. They are the ones who attend meetings. They are the ones who go to conferences, attend seminars, and what have you. They are the ones who listen or hear grapevines or, you know, know what these guys are thinking in their cockles. And they really need to, you know, put their ears down and ensure that they grab as much information as possible as they can and, you know, use it for their own benefit. Guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it is? Can the Southeast definitely produce um, the presidency come 2023 with the look of things or with the way things are at the moment? I stand to be corrected. I doubt it. So, guys, it is really, really a very dicey one if you ask me. And uh, I would like to uh, admonish the Southeast leaders not to really uh, put their eggs in one basket. Nigeria would not break up as it were, just like that, because... Well, I cannot predict, I cannot say for sure, but I just believe that Nigeria will not break up. Even if um, Southeast does not produce the presidency in 2023. But it's going to really be a difficult one for them to produce the president in 2023. The odds that we are looking at in the Nigeria of today does not favor the Southeast as it were. Even the Southwest, it doesn't favor them. The only people that, are, that it favors right now is the North from the look of things. That is just the truth. We must tell ourselves the truth. So, but one thing is that politics is not guaranteed. It can change at any time. The permutations can definitely change at any time. So, best bet is everybody should keep him or herself, you know, uh, ready. That's just it. Everybody should just be ready. Follow the event of things and the turn of things. Just follow things up and be prepared for what is to come. So that you can act, take quick decisions and fast decisions as it were, and uh, don't be left out or don't be left alone. That is just what it is or how I see things when it comes to the issue of politics in Nigeria. But what the former governor of uh, Anambra has said, Dr. Chukwu um, Ezifi, might not just, uh, we understand his pains, but, you know, it is not just easy to break up Nigeria like that. Well, th those are his feelings and his statements, I would beg to uh, say, but it remains to be seen how things will definitely play out come 2023. Look at what is happening with the APC right now. If care is not taken, you know, this would linger and uh, it would continue like this to a very large extent till almost uh, during the election. From the look of things, it is almost certain that they have lost Edo State. But you cannot just write them off because anything can happen. Even the PDP tomorrow can just wake up and, uh, you know, before you know there's a crisis in the party and, uh, you know, personal interest is beginning to override, you know, the group interest and all that and all that and so forth and many more like that. So, but be that as it were, guys, we just need to keep our fingers crossed and see how things begin to unfold. I stand to be corrected if I am wrong. But guys, it is what it is. Will Nigeria break up? Well, I don't know. We keep our fingers crossed. Let's see how things happen. Will Nigeria break up? Well, according to Dr. Ezefe, maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. So it is what it is. What are your thoughts, guys, concerning this particular new story? How do you see what is going on? How do you see the tone of things and how things are happening? Well, who among the, 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 the uh, Igbo politicians do you think uh, will be able to fight, will be able to stand his ground, will be able to uh, win the presidential election as it were? I don't know, but 
drop by the comment section let us know what your thoughts are don't forget to subscribe to this channel hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories thank you so much guys i appreciate your support and i'll see you on the other news thank you and bye for now